Hey, what's up, UCC? I'm Steven. This is Pastor Chris. I get to call him Pastor, even um, in casual environments. He's a tough boss. But we wanted to take some time uh, to sit down and kind of share as we are coming as a church to the end of our journey through the Sermon on the Mount. Began the beginning of summer. We're wrapping up in these next couple weeks. And Chris, you're always working ahead on sermons. I get to hear kind of all of your like behind the scenes thoughts as you're yeah. prepping them and stuff. And so what we thought would be cool is to sit down and kind of unpack some of the things that God was doing in your heart, some of the things that you've been processing through as we kind of put this series together. And so I think to start us off, the, the question I want you to kind of answer for, for me and for everybody else is, yeah. instead of just teaching, here's the Sermon on the Mount, we broke it into series. Why, why break it into series? Like, what was the point of that? And kind of what was your thought process on that? Yeah, so we're in like week 16 of the Sermon on the Mount. You know, um, but we branded it mm -hmm. in different series, right? Um, and the thought process behind that is really uh, how do we capture up uh, and keep people's interest inside of the Sermon on the Mount? So mm -hmm. if every week you come to our church and it's like Sermon on the Mount week 19, mm -hmm. sure. you know, Sermon on the Mount, you know, like yeah, uh, lots of pastors have done that. Very, very successful pastors. Mm -hmm. But for me, I like the arts. Mm -hmm. um, we have an awesome arts team. I mean, your wife, my wife, you. Yeah. I mean, I'm three. I'm telling you, they're the, they're the like, <laughs> trilogy of like uh, of I'm, making I'm it happen. That. I'm low on that totem. <laughs> um, but but for me, it's really just to keep interest, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then also, I learned a long, long time ago, uh, in if you rewind to like the 80s and 90s, right? Preachers would preach and they would give like like an eight point sermon. Yeah. Or, or you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they they have these big thoughts and people would take notes, right? Well, culture has changed. And so uh, there's this pastor, Andy Stanley, uh, who really brought about this idea that instead of making a three point sermon, what if we took each point of that sermon, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And make them their own weeks and make a series, right? Sure. Um, and so really what the Sermon on the Mount is, mm -hmm. is Jesus had one central thought. The kingdom of God is here. Do you want to be a part of it? Okay. That's the whole yeah. point. And, and so uh, what we did was took Jesus' sermon and we broke it into four series, yeah. essentially saying that there was four points or four concepts inside of Jesus' main thought. Okay. Sure. And so, so we started that off with no perfect people allowed. Yeah. And that was, if I remember correctly, that was just the first like couple, yeah. couple it was like a very small snippet that we turned into a whole series. So, so why focus on just that little bit to, to open it up? Yeah. So anytime a, a preacher or a movie, um, sure. a book, you know, you always have an intro. Mm -hmm. You want to capture up your audience, right? And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, and so the whole first series was really a setup of who was Jesus talking to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and if you understand, uh, what Jesus was doing in that culture and context, uh, he's speaking to Jewish crowds that thought, well, they have the Jewish law and the Jewish system, mm -hmm. but they have everyone else on the outside called the Gentiles. Right. So think about that. Like we have like French people. I'm Polish, so I guess I'm a Polak. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but we would say, oh, you know, you're, what are you, German? Yeah, yeah. yeah German. Okay, so, but you bet. Got a little Polish in me. It's pierogies. But put your, yeah, but put your mind in mind of a Jew. Mm -hmm. It was like, they're like, we have it all figured out. That we're we're going to group everyone else mm -hmm. as one concept, Gentiles. Yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And so what Jesus jumps in, and again, he's, obviously, we can learn so much from you a certain amount, but it's very centralized to go, hey, guys, <laughs> If you think you've made it, then this whole kingdom I came to bring, you actually are going to get left behind. Yeah, that's right? it. Yeah. So the way I saw it was I had two options. Make it really condemning. You know, <laughs> left behind. <laughs> there you go. That's good. People love that. People Is love this going to be an end time series? No. It's Sermon on the Mount. Yeah, don't get here. too excited. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. um, so, but the point is, is that the idea was like, you know, what came to my mind was like a boys club, you know, uh, like, um, uh, Steve and I have a boys club and no one else is allowed. That's absolutely so true. You can't throw footballs with us. So, um, but the idea was, yeah, you know, that was kind of the idea was the Jews had a boys club mm -hmm. or, or, a, or, a Hey, yeah. these this people, group, yeah, you know, and so what Jesus does was take that whole, well, perfect people are allowed. Mm -hmm. Jews are allowed. Mm -hmm. Our people are allowed. Jesus is like, eh, let's flip that upside down. Mm -hmm. And now you have 
no perfect people allowed. And so that was the creative thought process behind it was, and in my mind, you know, um, and this is where the art people are so much better than me. I like, I like <laughs> for the series intro, I just wanted to be like, walk up to a door and like, you know, like a boys club, you know, pick a piece of paper, like <laughs> no perfect people allowed, like no girls allowed. I don't know. Like That's why we have like some backwards letters and stuff. I yeah. Get it. I anyway, get it. but yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. clubhouse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. so, no, that's cool. That's I mean, and again, like on I, the arts team, they didn't do that because they were like, "Dumb idea, Chris. You offend people," and yeah, they made yeah. it better. So. I, I I play very little part in the sermon <laughs> graphics, so he's he's gassing me up here. But I do think, as far as the sermon on the mount goes, like that was the kind of cool just to to start with with that right. Those first couple sentences of like, let's just get let's get our heads behind who's Jesus talking to, what's going on here. What's at the heart of this? Because you move from that, and then we moved into that good place idea, which I feel like as far as, um, I've been here a couple of years, as far as just like concepts that I've heard you just talk about and like concepts that stick with you, the good place, I think, if I remember correctly, like this is the series that I think um, really set up a lot just in your personal life that oh. I think came in with preaching for sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that's one thing about our church, or at least me, is, you know, I tell the leaders is that our church will only grow if you grow, mm -hmm. right? And so when I'm teaching, um, you know, one of our values is authenticity, but it's, mm -hmm. it's very much changing me, right? Yeah. And so if Jesus is saying, I have the kingdom of God that you can walk in, mm -hmm. right? And, and think of that, right? You and I, believers, get to walk with a king yeah. like, ruling the air with us, right? Uh, and he's going to say, and the people that get to un understand that and enjoy it are those that receive grace and say, I I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk with Jesus. What it does is because it puts you in that, remember, it flips things upside down where it takes your life and we branded it the good place because the next series of Jesus' teaching was very, very practical. Yeah. You know, we talked about lust talked about marriage, talked about oaths, mm -hmm. um, not lying, you know, things like that. Yeah. And what perfect people do is they put all that in a box and say, here's the rules. Mm -hmm. sure. You know, and if I do yeah. this, then God will bless me. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is like, well, no, that's, and what Jesus was doing was kind of poking fun. And that's why if you read the Sermon on the Mount over and over, he's going, you have heard it said. Mm -hmm. He's referring to their pastors. Yeah, their teaching of the day. Yeah, I mean, that's right? pretty yeah. bold. Like, it'd be like yeah. me shredding another pastor. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. I'm you know what I mean? Like, sure. that's kind of wild to yeah. go, that's not super, what? Yeah. But again, Jesus was trying to rethink and flip, right? So the mm -hmm. good place was really about when you can understand the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. And you're walking in that. It changes where you're no longer living a rule-based life, mm -hmm. but you're living in the good place. Yeah, right? it's not it's not religion versus relationship. No, yeah. no, no. It's, it's it's literally it's just a different place. It's a different mindset. Yeah, you know where I'm gonna be fate and starve my eyes for my wife. Yeah, not because that is gonna make Jesus bless me. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. I already have a wife, so yeah. I don't know what he blessed me yeah, better yeah, with, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? sure. uh, like, uh, but, but what it does is it goes, well, I'm, I'm going to say faithful to her and I'm not going to look and have my eyes wandering because, well, I'm fully satisfied in my wife. Mm. That's the place you want to live in the place of contentment. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that's the good place, right? Yeah. It's, it's like where life, you can relax mm -hmm. and you can truly begin to find the peace and yeah. the joy, you know, the, the Christian words we associate with Christianity, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. uh, there's a rest, a relaxation. Mm. And so, yeah, that totally changed again, just again, uh, changed my life in yeah. a lot of ways. Yeah. I think, I think just walking through the Sermon on the Mount in general, like you and like the, the number of times we've had the talks about, about kingdom living, it's like, Hey, like, you know, stuff, stuff, again, stuff going on in our families, uh, kids even going back to school and stuff and oh, like yeah. all the, the busyness of a schedule, whatever it might be, or even honestly, the realities of like pastoring and running a church behind oh, yeah. the scenes. Like um, I said all the time, I'm a youth pastor that's having to learn how to pastor adults <laughs> <stuff> sometimes. <laughs> so that's why I like, I do dumb games and stuff because I don't know anything else. Um, but we keep coming back to the idea of like, what, what is kingdom living? What is Jesus mm -hmm. like inviting us into? And I think it's been, again, a good place series, at least for me, I know like that was just the a really just a good challenge, even as like I, I would preach it and stuff. It's oh, just yeah. the idea of, like you said, am, am I am I trying and striving and all this stuff, or am I kind of slowing down? Like, what is Jesus teaching us? It's 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 that the good place is with Him. Like mm -hmm. again, like the fulfillment's found in Him, not in all these other things. And His ways aren't meant to be heavy to us, but they're they're freeing, right?
Yeah. And so we, we, we went through that kind of concept as a church and kind of had some fun with that. And then we switch and the next series, I think is funny. Cause again, as you talk about branding, here you go. Like Chris loves sermon series titles. And I'm always like, I, I'm I not love them good. Mind them. Yeah. And so he's mind like, them. he's like, we're gonna do this series called the prosperity gospel. And I'm like, well, Chris, on the one hand, like the prosperity gospel is like a Christian cuss word. It's like, you throw that at preachers oh, that are yeah. like, you know, it's like health and wealth. Like, man, say this prayer, send me 150 bucks and like watch your leg get better. So then, right, like there's this idea there. And then that's the title of our series, which for Christians, they don't like it. And for non-Christians, they're like, what? But yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. you you chose that. Why Why was that like, I, yeah, I, you, so you were set on that one. There's somewhere, Chris, you can't tell them no. That yeah, so them. again, think of um, how uh, a, a sermon or mm-hmm. a thought or a movie builds on the storyline, mm-hmm. right? Make sense? Yeah. Remember, you always got to remember, we broke this into four sermon series, but it was one fluid thought. If you would have been with Jesus on, when he went up on the mountain, up on the mount. <laughs> and he preached, you would have just soaked it in in one shot and mm-hmm. been like, wow, this is awesome, right? And so, uh, so the point of the prosperity gospel was to really kind of really lift, take the good place, mm-hmm. And go, well, if this is real, well, the gospel actually does make your life better. Mm-hmm. Hence, the prosperity gospel. Sure. And again, and it's so and it's so catchy. Like, in fact, are you, I, was, I watch our YouTube views and they're not that much. But, <laughs> uh, but what's funny is week one of that sermon series was the most watched uh, of go. all of our summer people want uh, it. YouTube. People right. want that prosperity well, gospel. Well, I think, I think, you know, neg- like they were like, oh, yeah. Is this what UCC is about? You know, like... There's like a finally gotcha moment. Yeah, everybody who's, who's, who's dogging us in the shadows came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw uh, a tomato. Oh, I got to watch this because I'm going to zing them on Facebook. Um, anyway, uh, awesome. so, so, but the idea was then, you know, Jesus keeps getting practical. Yeah. Right? Where again, he starts to teach us to pray. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, and again, he's saying, ask whatever you want. Because I'm your father and you're in my kingdom, right? Like yeah. Jesus is kind of saying, hey, man, if you're uh, Steve Jobs' kid or I don't know, uh, Elon Musk's kid, he's like, alive, yeah, right? He's you're not running around, around going, oh, man, I need 10 bucks. Yeah, sure. You're, you're just, you know, it's a different world. A world I don't know, mm-hmm. but you could imagine. And so what, what, what Jesus is saying is going to do. This life, kingdom living, mm-hmm. is such a good place mm-hmm. that lived out allows your life really to be better right yeah. and, and again again it's it's almost as if there was a creator god who created us a way to live and when you enter into that with him well yeah it, it fits yeah, right sure. um, and, and that's where you know and again and jesus doesn't like mix words i mean he, he gets into judgment yeah you know, like hey like he, he starts talking about like how we should enter into each other's lives and, and hold each other accountable. Again, it's like, well, Jesus said, do not judge. He's like, well, no, he's, he's giving him a life philosophy. He's not yeah. saying don't judge, period. Yeah. On, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's the idea is to go, if Stephen and I are going to get in a friendship that yeah. matters, mm-hmm. right? And, and this is where we've been, right? I got two options, right? I can ignore and just affirm everything he believes and wants and wills, mm-hmm. right? Like, no, like when he drinks black coffee, I'm gonna be like, Stephen, <laughs> let me help you see what sugar and milk can do. You know, <laughs> you know it's okay. I have a pumpkin spice once in a while. I'll, I'll break for you. Yeah, so, but but you see what I mean? Like, yeah. So that was the idea. And so a, it, yeah. it brought a shock value mm-hmm. right? because again, you want to keep people's interest. You know, yeah, that's the sure. whole point of breaking these into series was to keep people's interest to go, wow. If if I cannot think about how this builds. If, if Jesus came to flip our idea of religion or, or perfection upside down mm-hmm. and say, we get in based on grace. Yeah. Then from there, Jesus is like, and here's, here's what you get. Yeah. Right. Uh, you get a good place to live. Mm-hmm. Like earth actually becomes a slice of heaven. Mm-hmm. Right. Then when you're entering into that, the practical parts of life, even the hard parts, mm-hmm. right. Where, where again, I don't want anyone to step in my life and, hey, man, like your leadership in your church is a little bit too dictatorish. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> you know? Like yeah, nobody yeah. wants to have that conversation. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to be told that you're wrong in something. No, but I need to be told that. Yeah. And I need to be told that 
from a person that is abiding in Christ, mm -hmm. that is in the good place, yeah. where they can remove the speck, mm -hmm. right? Be so gender or tender mm -hmm. and gentle. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's where, so to me, it just made sense that one builds to the next. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and that's, again, you got to realize this is one central thought. Yeah. Yeah. And again, exactly. back, and then the other thing too, and I just got to say this because we're coming up on the texts about like uh, hell and, or, or, or yeah. judgment, you know, not mm -hmm. hell, but, um, well, kind of hell, the yeah. judgment day. Um, but, but the other thing is that at that time, if you study scripture, the 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 authors of the Bible were not threatening to convert people, mm -hmm. right? Like so, for us, we often think like like oh man, if you don't if you don't pray to receive Christ, you're gonna go to hell. Mm -hmm. Which true, right? Yeah. No, you know what I mean. But they find that verse. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it might say live this out and there'll be mm -hmm. consequences. You're going to end up in a place, the bad place, you know, yeah, like sure. there's a lot of those warnings, yeah. but if the tone that they set was, dude, you're missing out. Yeah. yeah. That was the whole thrust of it going, sure. look, man, remember ancient Jew, they're slicing animals throats, mm -hmm. bloody a mess mm -hmm. under this hard, hard religious system. And he's going, look, you can be free. Yeah. Dude, because again, take this to the full law. Mm -hmm. That's where Jesus is like, it, it doesn't make sense anyway, because you just came to fulfill it, right? Yeah. So that's a big piece of the puzzle yeah. that it's not so much all the condemnation and damnation, mm -hmm. therefore meet Jesus, right? Yeah. It, it, I mean, and, that, and that's the whole point of the prosperity gospel and the good place was it was, dude, you're missing out. Yeah. The invitation is not what you're avoiding, but it's what God has for you. Right, yes. it's it's not like oh like the get out of hell card. It's the actually step into the full right. life, Jesus. Right, because what was right. the big idea of the sermon? Was it you know you get to go to heaven? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Jesus' True. main sermon was not you get heaven. No, he's going you get to enter the kingdom of God yeah. now. Yeah. And forever. Yeah, it's, it's beginning now, going on. Yeah, that's great. That's that's a good thought. And then, I mean, we're obviously in the closing weeks now mm -hmm. of, of wrapping the series up and. This please stand up idea with your little Eminem intro. <laughs> Talking about creative arts team. I was like, this it's always great ending worship. Then it's like dun 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 it cracks me Sorry. up every week. Snip, snap. But but uh even kind of walking us through the big picture. How did, how does it land here? What was that transition and, yeah, and so, what are we trying to leave people with as we wrap up the sermon? And what did Jesus leave us with? Yeah, so uh the last sermon series we did was is please stand up, yeah. right? And, and it's because in my mind. What Jesus is trying to do is if all this is true, mm -hmm. right? Well, be bold, stand up, mm -hmm. and enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Like do it, yeah, right, and share in that, right? And so, and so at the end in chapter seven, Jesus gets really into like, you know, broad is the road of destruction, narrow is mm -hmm. the gate, and he says this little phrase. He says, and few find it, mm -hmm. right? Where the Christian narrative is like the broad road, the whole world is going to the hot place, but yeah. I and my church, boom, we're on the narrow road. Yeah. And, and, and that's not wrong. Mm -hmm. But the bigger thing is Jesus is like, and only few find it. Mm -hmm. Meaning there are a lot of people on this broad road looking yeah. for a better life. Mm -hmm. And that that struck me. I've never read it that way before. Mm -hmm. I've never taught it or preached it that way yeah. before. It's always been like, make sure you're not on the broad road. Let's yeah. preach the gospel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really kind of, again, just kind of fear monger a little bit. That, mm -hmm. That's been in me, right? But again, it's part of me growing, mm -hmm. me keeping the text fresh to go, all right, what, let's ruminate on it, mm -hmm. right? And, and when, you, when, I, when, it, when it struck a chord with me, few find it, few find it. Mm-hmm. I would argue, and you go back to Matthew 9, 35, you know, when Jesus had compassion on the crowds yeah, because they're like sheep without a shepherd, yeah. right? I would argue one of the main reasons few find it is because few of us are actually willing to go proclaim yeah. where the narrow road is in this kingdom of life. Sure. Well, it's like the harvest is plentiful, workers are few, right? Like yeah. We talk about that all the time. So there's, there's more people looking than there are people like really willing to like lead into that, you know? Yeah. And I think that even it impacts how you see other people. Like you said, oh. it's, it's it's not that it's wrong that like, oh man, a ton of the world, world on the, the broad road to hell, but it's not like a, 
good riddance with you. Yeah. It's it, there's like a compassion. There's there's people like you said. There's people honestly looking for something. Yeah, and, and like, well, I know there's competing voices. There's so many people with lots of answers of what it's supposed to be. And yeah. And, and the question becomes is why can't you just say, well, whatever. Yeah. Well, because again, what was Jesus' picture? Yeah. Where do we start? Okay. No perfect people allowed. So yeah. if, if you're gonna look at the non-perfect people and yeah, be yeah. like, bye, <laughs> you missed the point. Yeah, you're probably you see what I mean? Anyway. So that's yeah. why we were able to brand it and move it the way we did, was because yeah. as you move people through this, especially our church, like mm -hmm. you, like our church, we want you to know, dude. Jesus had one central message in this sermon, yeah. and it was that there are no perfect people allowed in this kingdom. Yeah. And once you find yourself in it, look, it's a great place to live. Mm -hmm. There's peace, oh, yeah. joy. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, then obviously prosperity, which again mm -hmm. is like, ah! <laughs> but no, I mean, it's a good thing like to have compassion on people. Yeah. It's a great thing to go share with mm -hmm. people. It's a great thing for them to correct you. I mean, these are great concepts, yeah. right? Um, and then the idea is like, please stand up. Like, like please beg, plead, go. Mm -hmm. Like, if you know Jesus, you can't just say, buy crowd. Yeah. But again, that, again, it's very central in our churches mm -hmm. and, and, and in my life, you know, where I want to pull my kids out of everything to mm -hmm. put them on. And again, I, I want my kid on their road. We all yeah. want our kids on their road. We want our families on their road. Yeah. I want to be on the narrow road, but you also got to say, like, you know, you can be on the road and point. Yeah. Hey, guys, yeah. come on. You know? Yeah. And that's the idea yeah. there is is Jesus had this big central thought. Mm -hmm. It's a really fun thought. And uh, and I loved I loved it. Yeah. You know, it was uh, – that the Sermon on the Mount was my favorite text yeah. in all the Bible. It's you know? Honestly, yeah. I think, like I said, on a, on a personal level, just getting to walk through all the kingdom living stuff, the conversations oh, yeah. we've got to have and just – just working out what does that mean? What does it mean to live in the kingdom? That's what we've been doing as a church for the whole summer. And like I said, I know on a personal level we've been doing it. So um yeah, dude, thanks for thanks for unpacking all of that. Yeah, I know yeah, that's yeah. like that's the, a lot. If you made it this deep, in mind. if you made it this deep in the video, you're like a real MVP or something. But but um let us know if you like this type of stuff, if this is like helpful to you, because again, mm -hmm. yeah. I hear all this stuff fairly often. We have these conversations as we're writing, as we're editing and stuff. Yeah. Um and I, I think it's I, for me, it's like, man, this is what we just did the past several months. Here's here's it in, I mean, I don't know how many minutes this is, but like here's it is yeah. kind of like wrapped up. Because again, you see that big picture, what Jesus was doing and what he's welcoming us into. Right. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So I'm proud of our church. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like any of you got bored. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think everyone was like chomping at the bits. Yeah, like, give us more, give us sermon on, we want to go deeper, you know? Um, and that's great. And very few churches do that. So Thank you for that. It's been a pleasure. Uh, and then secondly, we're building, I'm telling yeah. you, and we're going to be a church that's living in the kingdom. We're going to challenge you to be in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're not going to fear monger because I don't think that's what Jesus would do. No. Um, but again, I think that's, again, <laughs> but if if you're not on the narrow road, man, you're missing it. You're missing it. So, yeah. Cool. All, All right. right. Thanks, Chris.